Hello and welcome. This is the second video on the LinkedIn Learning online resource. This video will show how to navigate a LinkedIn Learning course. Let's say I have saved a course in my library that I'd like to begin. I can click on My Library, then Saved, and I'll see a list of my courses. To begin the course, I can click on the title to start the first video. You can use the navigation buttons at the bottom of the video window to skip forward or back in the video, skip to the next or previous video in the course, see how much time remains, increase your video playback speed, add auto-translated closed captioning in over 20 languages, adjust video settings, such as whether the next video plays automatically and video quality, adjust the volume of the video, and set the video to full screen. There are also a few buttons at the top where you can save this course to your library or unsave it if it's no longer of interest, add the course to a collection, or share the course with others, although they'll need a LinkedIn Learning account to access the course themselves. If you scroll down, you can view information about the course instructor, as well as a description of the course, how long it is, what learner level the course is geared to, and when the course was released. Some courses contain learning objectives in this section, as well as what skill areas the course covers and how many learners have engaged with the course so far. You can also view a list of related courses if you'd like to learn more about the topic. The Notebook tab allows you to take your own notes about the course, which will be timestamped with the moment in the video when you saved the note, and can be downloaded later as a .txt file. The Transcript section will show you a transcript of the video you're watching. You can also perform a keyword search of either the individual video or all of the videos in the course. And if you click on a search result, you'll be taken immediately to the video with that keyword in it. You can also find topics of interest by scrolling through the contents menu on the left and clicking on the section you'd like to view, or bookmarking sections to remember which were most relevant to you. If you don't have time to finish a course now, you can return to a course later by clicking on My Library, then selecting In Progress to find a list of courses you have started but not yet finished. You can also view a list of courses you've completed by clicking on Learning History in My Library. This concludes the overview of LinkedIn Learning for Library. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to check out our other database videos available on our library YouTube channel and also on the Fort Bend County Library's website under the Research tab. Thank you for using Fort Bend County Libraries. 